Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about some of the updates Andrew Gower just posted about on X. So the first post we have here is people seem to think I should take the weekend off from doing QOL updates. So this weekend I'm going to work on implementing the leaderboards a bit instead. So this was a great uh, post here that everyone was excited about because... You know, we have just been getting bug fixes and really QOL fixes, which are great, but to see a features coming and know that it's actually somewhat close is a great feeling. So I do want to talk about the biggest one, though, that happened today. It's not a crazy, crazy amount of stuff, but that does have some QOL fixes or QOL updates that are really going to help us. So make friends easier to spot by drawing their map icon, name, and outline in a different color. I think this is very nice. A lot of times you walk by them in the world and you don't even know it's them. Improve the appearance of combat flinches and make the flinch outline color indicate the damage kind. Make passive level boost potions better. They now also allow you to buy passive ingredients and the boosted number of levels earlier while the potion is active. Yet, we also have an update about making yet more interfaces possible to close by clicking outside and by pressing the escape key. This is a big one, very helpful. I've had that uh, problem many times myself. Make it clear the passive item stacks contain 200 items, not 100, by showing the item gain notification as 0 .005 instead of the confusing rounding up to 0 .01. Very helpful. Make it easier to pick up items which are underneath an NPC by making it so that repeatedly clicking the open action menu mouse button always cycles through the each possible target even if the open menu is assigned to the right mouse button. So very, very useful. Also, they have audio improvements as well with improved violins on Hopeport music tracks. Um, so all around, very, very good fixes. I'm not going to go over all the bug fixes. Obviously, there was a, a decent amount like usual. They fixed them up, um, but they're never too, too important to me. So these are some big stuff to note. And uh, I will say, guys, really, Andrew Gower and the team is doing a great job with the very, very small team they do have with continuing to push out QOL fixes as well as having a big feature like leaderboards coming soon. So I'm excited. I'll keep you guys up to date on the game as well as updates coming. So if you haven't already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you all in the next one.